In this video, I will explain several features of our robot software. I will discuss our mesh detection algorithm and our safety features. But first, I will start with an explanation of the navigation of our robots. Low pads are able to navigate through the customer site without needing to modify the environment. To be able to do this, a robot needs to know where it's located in the warehouse and where it's allowed to drive. So, before we start installation at a customer site, we create a map of the environment. For the first step, a low pad engineer makes a high resolution 3D scan of the warehouse using a LiDAR. During the scanning, the normal operation does not have to stop, so there's no downtime for the customer. This 3D scan is then processed to make a 2D map of the environment. Our low pad engineers load the 2D map into our configuration software, the world editor. In this editor, all possible routes and actions can be configured. We specify what the robot is allowed to do in any area. So, for example, we can configure a fast lane or an area where the robot needs to drive slower. This leads to predictable behavior. The customer configuration is then loaded into the robot. Now, the robot uses a combination of its LiDAR scanner, odometry and other sensors to determine its location in the map. In special cases, for example in an area with very little distinctive features like a smooth corridor, the standard localization algorithms might not be accurate enough. Our engineers have a lot of experience with different methods to improve the accuracy of our localization. We can, for example, add features to the environment with minimal effort and intrusion. This way, we ensure maximum performance with no obstructions for the existing process. Our lowest models, like the Lopet M, are equipped with a floor scanner that takes pictures of the floor and creates a map out of these images. Before installation, the Lopet automatically scans the full floor of the warehouse. When navigating, the robot matches its current scan with the pre-recorded map and estimates its position based on the best match and the wheel odometry. To make our system work robustly, our robots need to be able to deal with loads that are not placed 100% correctly. Therefore, we have developed a method called mesh detection. This algorithm allows our low pads to detect the position of a load carrier and correct the position of the low pad to pick it up correctly. We also use this functionality to reliably dock into machines or chargers. To detect the position of a load or machine, we use a 3D model. This model can be exported as a so-called mesh from any 3D modeling tool. Then, we load the 3D model into our configuration software. And the low pad engineer can quickly configure the low pads to deal with any custom carriers or machines. The low pad detects the position of the load carrier by matching the laser scan measurement with the 3D model of the cart. After docking, it rechecks and refines its position ensuring the load is always picked up correctly. Even if the load is not placed 100% correct, the low pad manages to correct its position. By using the same method for docking into machines or chargers, we can reliably operate without the need to install chargers or machines at a very high accuracy. Now, I will discuss the safety features of our robots. The low pads continuously monitor the environment for unexpected obstacles. When a person or an object is detected, the low pad slows down and comes to a full stop without triggering an emergency stop. After the person has stepped away, the robot can continue driving. This behavior greatly reduces the stop time and increases the performance of the overall system. When the low pad does not have time to gently reduce its velocity, the safety lidars trigger an emergency stop, guaranteeing safety of the personnel. The low pad automatically adjusts its safety field according to its speed. This ensures it can come to a safe stop at full speeds, but also come closer to obstacles when it's driving slower. Next to the safety lidars, the low pads are equipped with emergency stop buttons and bumpers. Our supervisor software ensures that other low pads are rerouted to avoid a traffic jam in case a low pad is in emergency stop. To make the interaction with the personnel as safe as possible, the low pads indicate the direction in which they travel using LEDs. This way, people can easily see what the robot is going to do, so they can better anticipate. 